Hello, this is Claude and a couple of months ago I did a video about RGB headers on the motherboard and I uh, got about 27,000 views as of today on this video. It's on the gaming motherboards and uh, people are asking me uh, if I have a motherboard with a 12 volt motherboard side with a 12 volt uh, addressable RGB header can I put a, on the other side of the device side, can I put a 5 volt addressable RGB device like a fan controller or something like that? I was talking about, if I remember well, the uh, Thermaltake addressable RGB, uh, their premium, whatever it's called, uh, fan uh, controller. So um, the answer to that, when I answer or when I get the emails or whatever, I, the answer to that is no. And today I'm going to make uh, I'm going to make a, a real correction that the answer to that is yes, but very carefully. And uh, if for those who lost interest already in this uh, video, I'm going to have a little life lesson at the end, so you might want to stick around for the life lesson. So uh, basically, um, I'm going to show you the answer, and the answer is through a voltage divider. And I'm going to talk about this. I'm going to try to make it less than five minutes and go as fast as I can. All right. So basically. Um, First of all, if you intend to do whatever I'm going to show you, it's on your own. Um, I take no responsibility. This is for education purpose only. This is not a proven design or anything like that. I'm still going to show that it works. But uh, still, you're on your own, all right? For the learning and educa educational and entertainment purpose, all right? Uh, so for those who math is entertaining, keep listening. All right, so basically what you can do, and I've done it, all right? You can do what is uh, what is called a voltage divider. I'm gonna show you the device that I've done. And basically, if you look at my device here, what you would do is you would put a um, the addressable RGB. Basically, you would have your computer, your motherboard on that side, and you would connect this little thing here. You can see you got the 12 volt, 12 volt uh, pin right here. You got the data pin. You got the third pin here from uh, to the towards the top. That pin is uh, is not used, and the last pin is the uh, ground. On the other side of the voltage divider, you got you're going to result in a five volt voltage. The data that's just a pass through, not uh, not uh, used, and the ground on the other side. So what you would do is you take the the cable over here with the little arrow that you can buy at Micro Center, Amazon, wherever you want. There's a little arrow. This is where the the voltage is. So you would attach this in here, you would put that again in your motherboard, same thing here, you, want, you always want to make sure that the little arrow, uh, if there, yeah, you can see the little arrow over here, little arrow here goes into the voltage, and on the other side, on the coming out side, you do the same thing, little arrow towards the 5 volts, uh, you would do that, and you would connect that baby on your addressable RGB device on the other side and then you just fix the issue of a 12 volt addressable RGB header towards the 5 volt addressable RGB device. Uh, the point that I'm making too is that as you can see I'm talking clearly about addressable RGB because regular RGB this is on the other video and I will link it or wherever that's going to be on uh, this video over there. So the addressable RGB headers on motherboard is different than a regular RGB header, right? Regular RGB uh, is just going to be your ground with the red, green, and blue. And this basically is the 12 volt, the data that's going to control the colors and the ground. That's completely different headers and pin out, all right? So you cannot mix and match both of these, all right? So I'm going to go into the voltage divider thing. This is what it is. I've done my own with, uh, not very good at it, CAC 2244, the fourth fell off, uh, basically with uh, ferric chloride and doing my thing with the Eagle software, free software, I did my own little PCB. Uh, so let me see, let's go about the mat. So on the motherboard side, what you're going to have, so this is the voltage divider, let's go about the mat real quick. The voltage, the voltage out in a voltage divider, the formula is the, um, the resistor to over the total of the two resistors, this is gonna have two resistors, and you're gonna add times the voltage in is gonna give you the voltage out, all right? And the way it works over here, and that's the example here, if you've got voltage in into the voltage divider, basically you put two resistors, and in theory, when you go from the, the voltage towards the two resistors going out, the two resistors will eat up the 12 volts, all right? Proportionally of their resistors, all right? Of the resistance. So this is why here, if for example, in the example here, Z, the first resistor, which is this one here, 
a 47 ohm at 5 watts and I'll explain why the 5 watts a 47 ohm and I've got the 33 ohm all right so that's what it is so if you go here with the first resistor at 47 ohm 47 over 33 um, 47 over the, the both of them together is 80, 80 ohms all right 47 over 80 is 58.75 percent times 12 volts this is going to eat up 7.05 volts and this one here the same thing is going to eat up 4.95 volts so on the way out when the, 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 the DC current goes out voltage not the current but the, the, the voltage comes out at the end it's zero when it goes back to ground it's zero it eats up the whole thing this is Ohm's law all right so what happens is when you do this if, if you got 12 volt coming in this eats up 7.05 volt the residual voltage you're gonna have is 12 volts less 7.05 which is gonna be 4.95 volts all right uh, and then the difference 4.95 is gonna be eaten up by the resistor here which is going to return zero so you're going to be clean over there um, the calculation is right here the voltage out so if you bring 12 volts in z2 is 30 basically is the voltage that's remaining so 33 out of 80 uh, is 41 percent times 12 volts is going to give you 4.95 volts so this is what it's going to do all right so this is the voltage divider calculation that's the math behind the concept all right and this whole thing is based on Ohm's law. So just do like me, and I always have this in front of my desk. And every time I do anything, I always refer to that. You can print that from the internet, whatever you want. That's what you can do with that. So this is the voltage divider. So here is my little device. So I'm going to show you low tech. I'm trying to go as fast as I can. So this is my little voltage divider. That's the device right here. All right. So if you got your motherboard and you got your header that's addressable RGB header. All right, that's the addressable, it's very important. I need to make the correction. Addressable RGB header, 12 volts. And I'm writing here that these, uh, these um, uh, motherboard uh, headers, they're good for one amp, usually the fan headers and all these things. This is the, the rule of thumb, uh, and it's very difficult to find any data on the data sheet for that, but usually the rule of thumb, it's good for one amp. And then the reason why I put these large resistors, because these resistors are at 5 watts. And once again, I'm going to tell you why you go with these big ones and not the little cheap ones. Is because, well, these are cheap too, but there's more capacity. Is because of Ohm's law as well. And this is the power in watts. And this is the voltage times the, uh, the amps. All right. So P equals VI. So what you're going to do here is that the power is going to be what you're going to have going through over here is going to be 5 volts more or less. Uh, and uh, 5 volts uh, times um, 1 amp is going to give you the 5 watts, which is why I'm going with the 5 watts resistors, right? So that's more or less, you know, it's not rocket science here and there. There's a, a big variance over there because these resistors are not 1%, I think they're 5 or 10%. Uh, uh, precision all right so this is the uh, the rgb uh, header that you would have the wristable rgb in your motherboard you would have your 12 volt you would have data not uh, not used and the ground or it could be different you need to look at the pinout on your motherboard diagram here you've got your two resistors and then here's so that's my device right here so here that's going to be the reverse of what it is here we've got the 12 volt side coming here so but i'm showing you more or less what it looks like from the top all right the connection the 12 volts goes into that 47, 47 ohm resistor. Then this one's going to go through the 5 volts, which is going to be 4.95 fed by more or less 4.95. The data pin over here, what it's going to do, the data pin over there is going to go and I go, it go under the resistor here. There's no connection and it's going to go to the data pin. The third one is not connected and the ground is going to go on the way back here. It has to go through the ground and over here it's going to go through the ground pin on the addressable rgb device on the other side right on the output all right so this is on this side here all right so this is what the uh the diagram looks like so now i'm just going to do I'm, I'm, I, we did the math we did all of that so i'm gonna, just going to plug that i'm going to show you in in, in 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 real life what it does so i'm going to plug here 12 volts i've got the power supply and then so the 12 volts is going to go right here okay and i'm going to put my ground right here and I'm going to supply 12 volts to it. All right. So let's see if anything, you know, goes kaboom. Well, that's just more entertaining. All right. I'm going to remove that. I'm going to just put it over here. There you go. So uh, I'm going to put. Fit enough. You're going to be able to see. 
I'm feeding 12 volts into that baby here right now, direct current. And uh, let's see here with our voltmeter if the theory is right. So I'm going to go here. So the, this one here is the ground. This one here is the 5 volts. And let's see what it gives me. It gives me 4.83 volts. All right. 4.83. Like I said, this is plus or minus 10%. Uh, you know, uh, I'm going to crank it a little bit up. All right. There you go. 12.1 input because this one here also is like a cheapo power supply is like you know 80 bucks so it's not precision is not that accurate so um yeah i'm just cranked it up a little bit you know you're gonna 4.86 volt 4.9 volts uh that's gonna power your device on the other side and like i did like i showed you with the other stuff uh the data is just a pass through uh and then the grounds to, to the ground so basically this what it does it just converts you know power divider a voltage divider uh, it just converts your 12 volts to a 5 volt and then the rest in my little device the rest just goes straight through all right so what uh, this is my spiel on that and here goes the life lesson all right and i'm going to turn that off here's the life lesson right here the life lesson is is sometimes people tell me you know i talk to friends and stuff like that i'm a business guy you know i travel around the world for business that's what i do and people tell me, oh, you're, you know, how you, you, you do that? How you know that? At the end of the day, and I'm going to, uh, you know, tell what my dad used to tell me when I was a kid, a couple of years ago, if you just look by my hair, <laughs> by the little gray hair, a couple of years ago, uh, what my dad used to tell me, he used to tell me, Claude, the difference between the guy or the, the gal that makes 10000 a year and the other one that makes 100000 a year is not that one is 10 times smarter. So at the end of the day, just if you take the time to study, to learn a little bit, you can learn anything you want. Just put your, the time and effort to it, and then you can learn. It just, you know, me, I've spent hours, you know, I would say tens of maybe 50, 60 hours do the basic electronics and, and learn, get some books and all of this, uh, do the uh, ferric chloride stuff on this thing that I do in my garage with minimum tools. Uh, so I've been able to do that and, and you know, I'm basically by trade I'm a business guy I'm not an engineer or anything like that so the life lesson is is that you know uh, don't be impressed by stuff just dig in study listen listen to people study and then try stuff and you will see you will be surprised of what you can do and and, and you will be proud of what you can accomplish and and this is very valuable in life and you know what if I can just inspire a little bit of this no my job's gonna be done all right? So uh, that's what it is for me right now. Thanks for watching this video and talk to you at the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.